gather your thoughts right here at the breath. There's lots to think about right here. The quality of the breath, where your mind is right now, whether it's about to slip off or how it can keep it back here. Your thinking has to circle around the breath, and that way it's not a distraction. If it goes away from the breath, okay, then it's going to pull you out and you've got to drop it. But if it's concerned with the breath and it's actually helping, then you keep it up. It's only when you realize that the, either that the thinking is not helping or it's taking you as far as it can go, and then you drop it. But in the beginning, you have to adjust things so the mind feels snug with the breath, feels comfortable with the breath, because you want it to stay here for a long time, so it requires a little bit of adjusting, massaging it here, chipping away at things here and there. It's like lying down to sleep. You want to make sure that there are no bugs in your bedding. And if there are, you pick them out you take them away. If there's dust on your bedding, you take it out and you shake it out. And then when everything is nice and clean and everything is smooth, okay, then you can lie down. Of course, when you're lying down, it's not that we're going to go to sleep. We want the mind to be alert. But it takes some time to adjust things so that you can stay here for a long time and not get tired of it and not get irritated by it. It's in this way that thinking is an important part of the meditation. And you have to ask yourself questions. All too often when your meditation hits a plateau is because you've gotten to a nice place and you just like to stay there. But you've got to keep asking yourself, is there something better than this? I mean, give the mind time to rest first. But then there comes a time when you have to say, okay, what's going on here? What is still irritating the mind, even if it's just a little bit now? You have to increase your sensitivity, like the old story about the princess sleeping on the, the mattresses. She got to the point where if there was a pee under one of the mass mattresses, she knew. And you want your mind to be that sensitive to what's going on inside. That way you can find an even greater peace as you dig down through the layers of the mind. So don't let your thinking faculties go, go away. Keep them there nearby in case you need them. Don't let them atrophy, because it's in the questioning that your discernment is going to arise. 